Hello there, my name's Manawa. I've been involved in the development of the traction control and stability systems for the new M3 M4. The new M3 M4 has an integrated torque control system for the wheel speed, the actuator wheel slip limitation, which means we can catch the slipping wheels very quickly and very precisely, much more precisely than before. We're talking here about a factor of six to eight. We've got a lot quicker. The whole package offers high driving dynamic potential in all controlled modi. To be able to show you the performance advantage of the new M3 M4 in comparison with its predecessor, we're here on a watered metal surface. Two cars are going to accelerate on this metal surface in parallel, then leave the metal and switch to an asphalt surface with more grip. On the slippery surface, the control system reduces the engine torque very strongly. It takes the engine right down, and then, when we switch to the grippy asphalt, the system has to be able to react very quickly. To recognize that we're now on a different surface with a different friction coefficient and adjust the engine torque accordingly. And this will demonstrate the control performance of the new system. Right, let's get going. We start off with DSC fully engaged in second gear, and here I put my foot down. The previous version takes a lot longer to realize the change and a lot longer to release the engine torque again in order to achieve maximum acceleration on the asphalt. As you can see, the control behavior, the control performance of the new M3 M4 is much more spontaneous and utilizes the friction coefficient much more quickly and exactly. The wheels can be controlled with far greater precision in a much shorter time. Thus, we've gained a huge amount of potential in all three DSC modes. In the new generation too, we've retained the three-level DSC system. The first step is DSC on, that's always active once the car is started. We're now driving with DSC fully engaged with the new control. The vehicle utilizes the friction coefficient to the full. That means it's completely legitimate to drive a racetrack or drive a training session in DSC on. The system in the new generation M3 M4 gives you enough leeway to feel your way to the limit. With this new control performance and the reaction speed of the system, we can really guarantee that the system intervenes and guarantees your safety. Then there's the MDM, which allows a lot of performance and also enables drifting. I've now selected MDM. The system is configured to allow wheel spin over the physical traction limit. That means you can get the vehicle to oversteer via the accelerator and then react via the steering. The top priority is to make the car react so slowly that the customers themselves have time to react. That means that when I put my foot down, the car reacts slowly. I can simply counter steer and finish the drift. The third mode is DSC off, which in the new generation M3 M4 gives us the chance to configure the traction control in 10 steps. Let me say now, step zero remains DSC off and no stability intervention takes place in terms of engine or brakes. From steps 10 to 6, we have the traction part of the M traction control. That's there so you can configure your own traction control on the racetrack. Depending on weather conditions, tyre temperature and ambient temperature, you can set the whole thing up yourself. I'm now going to try out step 8 in order to find the ideal traction. Here at the apex I'm putting my foot down. I'd say now with winter tyres in the dry, the system is just about stable. That means I think we've got it just about perfect. 
das System gerade so noch nicht instabil. Das heißt, ich denke, wir haben es schon ganz gut gefunden. I might now try a step higher and try nine, so that I don't have to counter steer here. Yep, that's really on the button. I can take all the corners here with the throttle wide open. I only have to open the steering a little when the vehicle feels like it's going to oversteer. Yep, in driver training sessions or on the track, you can try it too. Try and feel your way to the limit so that you can then more or less rely on the steering completely and not have to worry so much about accelerator modulation. The second part of the M traction control is step six to one which contains a so-called drift control. Here, we consciously allow drifts to take place. The customer can use the accelerator to get the vehicle to oversteer. Here, we try to slow the vehicle reaction and limit the side-slip angle. That means, in step six, small drifts are possible, in step one, very big drifts. And at the same time, with each reduced step, the yaw rate increases. That means that the vehicle is heading more and more towards off until it reaches step zero and DSC off and control no longer takes place. I'm now selecting step six. Okay, second gear, turn in, throttle wide open. The car turns in slowly and adds torque by itself. Now we're driving in step four, with a bit less yaw rate damping and more sideslip angle. Turn in here, accelerate again, the tail starts to go, I have to counter steer, and the vehicle adds torque again. And with that, you can have a lot of fun.